I woke up that day and had breakfast and sure didn't think that by the time I had dinner that day, I'd be talking about having a brain tumor. They did a CAT scan and then the doctor came in and said, you have a mass in your brain. I have a what now? <laughs> I was diagnosed with anaplastic astrocytoma in 2014. I had a seizure, that's how I found out about my tumor, shortly after giving birth to my now nine-year-old daughter. I thought at first brain tumors were rare. They're not. Look to your left, look to your right. Almost everybody has been touched directly or indirectly with someone with a brain tumor. I started the American Brain Tumor Association in 1973. We were a young couple with two small children. When I first started out, I thought, well, we're going to find a cure. And, you know, it was such an unrealistic crazy idea that, you know, that 50 years later, we still wouldn't have an answer for what my daughter died from. But research has come light years, and certainly surgical procedures have come light years. And so it's made a difference um, over time, but we still have a long way to go. I learned about the ABTA my first birthday after my surgery, which was Mm, 17 days after surgery, uh, a friend of mine made a donation to the ABTA in my name. And mm, <laughs> I'm going to cry. Um, it was by far the best gift I could have ever asked for that year. The American Brain Tumor Association knows that more must be done and more will be done. We don't want one more person losing their lives because they were diagnosed with a brain tumor. The American Brain Tumor Association is excited to launch a five-year, $50 million comprehensive campaign that will give us the resources that we need to triple our spending on brain tumor research, to double our reach of brain tumor patients and caregivers, and to ignite and to influence federal government funding of brain tumor research in ways that today are completely inadequate. Really, the answer comes in research. And it's the research that I think enables us to better understand this disease, unlock the mysteries behind why the disease forms, how it behaves, how it could affect a lifespan of that individual. This is such an essential organization to help people like me, to provide community, to provide answers to scientific questions, to provide comfort, to provide so much of what a brain tumor patient needs. We can make change happen. Together with the ABTA, we can impact the federal funds and we can make sure that there are more funds for the brain tumor community. Five years and $50 million, put simply, means an extension of life for many patients and an improved quality of life for many patients and their families. It's just that simple. As a 20-year survivor and with four reoccurrences, I want you all to be here with me. And I want you to all fight with me and next to me. And I want you to all meet hope head on.